Before leaving the hospital, your doctor advised you not to drive your car for a period of time after discharge. You may have been told not to drive for 48 hours, for one month, or even longer. If you have a special driver's license, such as a Class 1 license, and drive a commercial truck, or a Class 2 license and drive a school bus, you've probably been advised by your doctor not to drive for at least three months. For many of us, driving means our independence. You are probably very used to hopping in the car, driving to the grocery store, to the pharmacy, to the bank, whenever you want. But now that you must depend on others to drive you around town, you may feel very frustrated. For some, driving actually means their livelihood. So being told you can't drive for a period of time can be very stressful. But your doctor has very good reasons for advising you not to drive, as we will explain. An expert panel of Canadian cardiologists got together and established guidelines for driving wait times for people having suffered a heart event, such as a heart attack, congestive heart failure, or who have undergone special heart procedures. The driving wait times have been determined by assessing or looking at the risk of harm you are to yourself and to other drivers. That is, what are the chances that you will suffer a sudden heart event when you are behind the steering wheel and harm yourself or others? For people who have suffered heart attacks, the assessment of risk is based on a number of different factors, including the type of heart attack you suffered, the severity of the heart attack, and the type of treatment you received while you are at the hospital. For example, if you had an angioplasty and stent procedure following your heart attack, you can usually drive sooner than someone who has undergone bypass surgery. The type of driver's license you hold will also determine how long you have to wait before you're able to drive. For the most part, private drivers spend less time on the road compared to commercial drivers, and they drive vehicles that are less likely to cause harm in the event an accident should occur. Therefore, private drivers can often drive sooner than commercial drivers because they pose less of a risk to others compared to commercial drivers. You may also have other medical issues that need to be considered when determining your risk of harm. Ultimately, your wait time before driving is at the discretion of your cardiologist.